Yom Kippur is the most important day of the year for Jewish people. It is a national day of repentance for Jewish people all over the world. The Lord gave this feast to the Jewish people so that their sins for the past year would be forgiven. The goal for the day is to have their names written in the Book of Life for another year. Now, unlike the Feast of Rosh Hashanah, we have a whole lot of biblical and extra biblical knowledge about Yom Kippur. This feast, too, has a historical, messianic, and a future prophetic fulfillment. This helps us, a believer of Yeshua, to know for certain that this feast of the Lord originally gave to Israel are for us, too. So let's take a look at the past biblical record as we delve into our new understanding of the feast. Amen. So please open up your Bibles to Leviticus chapter 23, verse 26 through 32. And remember, Leviticus chapter 23 is our summary chapter of all seven feasts that the Lord gave to the Jewish people. So let's take a look now. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 26 through 32. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, On exactly the tenth day of the seventh month is the day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation for you, and you shall humble your souls and present an offering by fire to the Lord. So it's the tenth day of the seventh month. The seventh month is Tishri, in the calendar year of the Jewish people. And it is the day of atonement. Now the Hebrew there is Yom Kippur, and that's where we get the name. Yom Kippur just means day of atonement. It's a holy convocation. It is a Mikra Kodesh, a sacred assembly. And you shall humble your souls. Now, that Hebrew word for humble, though, is oni. Oni means fasting, fasting and praying. And present an offering by fire to the Lord. Neither shall you do any work on this same day, for it is a day of atonement to make atonement on your behalf before the Lord your God. So the Jewish people were not to do any work at all, not even pick up a stick on this day. It is a Sabbath day. But it is a holy day as well as the most holy day of the year, the Day of Atonement. Verse 29, If there is any person who will not humble himself on the same day, he shall be cut off from his people. And that word for cut off means to exterminate. So God was very serious in this day. He was going to be uh, taking out people, taking out the Jewish people if they were not humbling themselves, meaning to bow down, to afflict, to submit submission uh, to repent voluntarily unto the Lord. So very serious. God takes this, this uh, Yom Kippur very seriously. Verse 30, As for any person who does any work on the same day, that person I will destroy from among his people. And you shall do no work at all. It is to be a perpetual statute throughout your generations in all your dwelling places. Perpetual statute means it's forever. So the Jewish people are to celebrate these feasts, not just Yom Kippur, but all of the feasts, and they're supposed to do it every year and forever. It is to be a Sabbath of complete rest to you, and you shall humble your souls on the ninth of the month at evening. From evening until evening, you shall keep your Sabbath. So it's a Sabbath day, and of course, the day begins at sundown. And so it's sundown on the 9th till sundown on the 10th, the full 24 hours there. From evening till evening, you shall keep your Sabbath. So notice that God does not tolerate even one transgression on this feast. This shows that God takes worshiping Him on this day very seriously, as I've already said. Worshiping Him specifically involves fasting and praying for the forgiveness of sins.